Okay, hey guys. So this is gonna be a several part series of um, clay, getting getting it ready, preparing it, and then um, obviously at some point using that clay. So um, I'm gonna chunk this so that you can kind of take time to gradually get the things together and you can pause it and then um, it should be able to be easier to follow that way. Okay, so let's get started. Um, clay is messy. Um, I would recommend wearing older clothes. Um, it will stain clothes. Um, I've rolled up my sleeves. Um, I obviously have an older shirt on, so that's fine. I put on an apron. I don't expect you to have an apron. Um, there are a couple of really creative solutions. You can just wear like old t-shirt over your clothes, or um, if you wanna get a garbage bag, you can actually cut a hole in the garbage bag and then put it on if you don't want to get anything on, um, even like older clothes. Um, so let's get our space ready and I'll show you kind of what I do. So it is porous. We don't want to use any porous surface for our clay. Uh, so I, this is my workspace. Um, I just have a garbage bag set up and I lay it over my surface. And um, this is for a couple different reasons that eventually, if I'm working in um, a couple of different um, days on the same project, I can um, use saran wrap to cover it so that it won't dry. And then I can also put this trash bag over it and kind of keep it in the same spot so it's not like getting moved around. So I would recommend choosing a spot that you don't need to move stuff um, multiple times um, just because it is fragile before it's dry. <clears throat> um, you can also use parchment paper. Um, this is a great option. You can lay some of it out. So I'm going to cut a piece of it. Um, it will also help just kind of um, get your surface um, in a spot to um, soak up some of the moisture from the clay as you're working on it. Um, so that's a good option. So these are kind of some things from the kitchen that are going to be helpful in this process as well. Okay, so um, I'm just going to take a pair of scissors. I got my clay here. We're going to use the terracotta for this particular uh, task. And I am going to cut open the clay. So just along the one end and make it so that I can get into it pretty easily. I'm just cutting along the edges. Um, I only do the two corners. I'll show you why. I try to keep it in this um, packaging as well as in the airtight container so that it doesn't dry out. So you can kind of see it's just the one corner is flipped up right now. Um, one other thing before you get started, um, this is just a tip. I like to put on some lotion um, on my hands before I get going. You can also use, if you have um, some rubber, um, like surgical gloves at home, if you don't want to get your hands really nasty, you can use those. Um, I just like to, um, I don't like having the gloves on per se, so I just put lotion on so that the um, clay doesn't like stain my hands too terribly as I'm working. Um, so I have um, some clay tools and um, these are, I'm going to open these so you guys can see what these do. Um, you can also use other things around your house. Um, that are just as effective. Um, so a rolling pin. And then these are some carving tools. And as well as these, these are good for deductive and taking away components of your um, sculpture. Okay, so. I'm going to just start with a small piece right now. And we'll get it out. And I would suggest, you know, 
if you know kind of what size you want things to be, just try pulling out however much that is um, at a time. You can also use a um, cutting board um, if you choose um, because you don't have the parchment paper or something like that around your house. Um, <clears throat> okay, so what is cool is there are a couple ways to go about like forming um, this clay and one one thing is you can always use um, aluminum foil to kind of build around like a structure so you're not just using like a ton and ton of clay. It gives it a little bit of, of structure to it. Um, so you can use aluminum foil to sort of build like your model of your human figure. So if I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna start with some legs and I kind of got a little too much for that, but. So I'm gonna make mine pretty abstract. And sort of form my legs. And then what is cool is I can roll this out. So those of you that took art one, you guys can use the coiling method. Um, you'll want to like flatten it out once you get a good coil. And you can build around your mold with the foil. So if your sculpture is larger than a fist, or if it's going to be holding up some other component of your sculpture, I would suggest using the foil method. It only, it just helps make um, larger sculptures lighter and it helps prevent cracks from forming um, due to shrinkage. So less clay means less shrinkage. Um, um, as you notice cracks appearing in your clay, like, so I'm just gonna show you um, there are a couple cracks here already in my clay, um, right along here. You can let the, um, the clay dry out completely, and once it's dry, you can create a wet mix of clay. So we can kind of fill in the cracks once everything is completely dry. And then after you fill in those cracks, you just let the clay dry again. So it's sort of this additive process where you can add layers if, if you do see some cracking. So don't, don't stress about that. Okay, so as we're building, um, if you don't have enough time to complete like the sculpture in one session, like we were talking about um, kind of at the beginning, I'm gonna form this leg back. So let's say I only have time to complete this much tonight. So I'm gonna make sure this is like where I want it to be. If I wanna keep it like workable for the next time, um, I'm going to wrap it in a damp paper towel and I'll wrap that paper towel around my whole sculpture. And then I'm going to put my saran wrap around um, my sculpture. And then what I like to do then is what I what I would do is I would pull my parchment paper over, just sort of fold it, and then pull also up my corners of my trash bag just to kind of keep it contained um, so that it's ready to go for whenever I'm ready to start sculpting again.